You've done your research. You decided to go with the MacBook Air. However, now you're worried about the lack of available ports. So what do you do? If you're like most who decided to go with the lowest capacity MacBook Air with the 256 gigabyte hard drive space, you're probably realizing that if you're doing a content creation, you're gonna need some more space. So what do you do in these cases? I have a couple solutions. Let's discuss. The device we're gonna talk about today is the Acasis USB 4 Thunderbolt 4 external enclosure. Along with this enclosure, I'd recommend you pick up any SSD drives from Samsung or Western Digital or any other brands to utilize in it. Now that we have everything unboxed, this is the Western Digital SN750. Pretty quick drive inside of a desktop machine. However, inside the external case, it doesn't run at its max speed, so bear that in mind. Here is the Acasis drive. It's pretty sleek, not too heavy. And when you open it up, it is aluminum. However, it's not that thick, but size isn't bad overall. This is the Western Digital SN750. Now I find this drive to be uh, pretty quick and I'd recommend you picking up one of these if you're gonna utilize this inside one of these external enclosures. Now the installation of this is actually pretty simple. They've given you like a little rubber grommet. So once you slide that in the back, you can seat it inside of the enclosure. Now the cool thing about this enclosure that I like is that it has these little ball bearing things at the end. And before I forget, I've already installed the heat pads on it. So I didn't show actually how you open this thing up. It's pretty much, there's like a little tip right here and you pop it up. And there you go, it's open. Once the drive is installed, push it down and close it. So it's a pretty simple drive. One side you have the USB-C port and you have some fins carved into the side of the aluminum to help dissipate the heat. You can seat the drive in any which way you like. I prefer to have it with the tip up top that I can open them. But knowing that this is where the heat pads are, dissipate the heat, I decided it's probably best to keep it this side up. Let's do a baseline test utilizing the internal hard drive. SSDs are known to run hot, so this machine actually doesn't really feel warm at all. And of course, this is just basic test. Now we'll run some disk speed tests to see how quick this thing is. Okay, so we have some results. It's writing at 2450, 2449, and reading at 2684. So we can call about 2400 on the right side and 2600 on the read side, which is pretty good. I'll test my other drive, which will be a Samsung 970 Evo, and see what speeds we get.
based upon the speeds that we're getting, you can read up to ProRes 422 HQ videos. Most people aren't doing that unless you have an external recorder or if your camera can actually support that. So for most of us, this is more than fine and it will serve our purposes. If you're going somewhere higher, like a 10-bit 422, then it may have some issues with the write. So that's something you have to keep in mind. But I think for most people that are doing it, if they're professionals, they'll probably spend the money and go for the more expensive drive. If you're just starting out, then go with something external like this will actually work better for you. And you can pick and choose your drives, you know, get something from Amazon. If it doesn't quite work well, send it back, try another one. So we have a pretty good drive here to utilize for when you are recording or to store your data. I think this will become quite useful for most of us traveling on the road. The driver is pretty quick for most uses and the enclosure actually isn't too heavy. Right now it seems to be running slightly warm. We're not doing much with it, so that's okay. This drive will help you to extend the space of your internal drive if you don't want to spend that money and buy it directly from Apple. So the enclosure does a pretty good job, so it's a pretty good buy. I'm looking forward to hearing your experiences and how you utilize your MacBook Air. If you use it for video and for photography purposes and you've gotten a base level machine, if you're using something other than this drive, let me know. I'm curious to hear what other drives are out there because as we know, new things are coming online from time to time and people have different recommendations. I did notice that the drive gets warm when you're using it for an extended period of time. I did some video editing for about four hours or so on the laptop and it went from 100% down to 25%. The enclosure was pretty warm, so that may affect your battery life. So I'm still exploring different drives to see which one works better and which one actually is the best for the machine. If you like SSDs, the PCIe version are the fastest ones out there, or you could utilize the standard 2.5 inch versions that fits in one of these enclosures. And I'm gonna do another review later on about these drives and contrast them with the SSDs. So for now, I'm gonna wrap up and I wanna thank you for watching the video. Look forward to seeing you and hearing your comments. Take care.